Let's talk about wet into wet in the watercolor painting. So look at the reference. Take a look at where I'm going to place this cost star food. If you haven't had one, you should go to the market. Sweet, sour, and very good food. So now after I use my finger, just draw in visually, like invisibly, but you can get an idea where you're going to put it. So don't start drawing until you have a good idea of where you're going to put it, right? All right, so I already know where is it. So now I'm going to put that right about here. So I'm going to put the right side right over here and the left side right in here, okay? If you dear enough, you can just use watercolor to do the drawing. Okay, if not, you just use the uh, pencil. So make sure you're getting it and putting the mark on the paper. Okay, like that. That's good. And putting the bigger shape first. And here you go. Like that. Assuming that you're already okay with all the color mixing. So if you're still having trouble with color mixing, just do a little bit more exercise. It require uh, that you already know how to mix the color. Okay, that's good. I have a little bit of shape dividing over here, and then have another part over here on the outside. Yeah, here you go. Just one little thing at a time. Now I'm looking at it, it looks like, oh, they're a little bit too narrow, a little bit too short this way. So I'm gonna do a little bit more. I'm gonna have this coming up a little bit, slightly coming up a little bit over here, and and take a look at that. This need to come down a little bit over here. Okay. And this brush is very, very sharp and easy to use. And here we go. On the other side, coming down over here. A little bit deeper, like that. This is good. I feel this is need to be a little bit higher, right there. That's just good. And coming to a little bit over the other side. Okay, this is good. And there is a, some soft background in the back. And I'm going to use the one inch flat brush. I'm going to cover the back with wet into wet. And I'm going to painting around the shape of this fruit. Probably okay, the sound. Okay. Here we go. Now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to mix a gray color with only the three primary colors, right? And so first I'm going to get the red with the blue color. Okay, like that. There's the Windsor blue, Windsor red, and the Windsor yellow color. And this is almost great. I'm going to get a little bit more red into it, just warmer. A little bit more blue, just make it a little bit cooler. I'm going to get a little yellow and make it more gray. Okay, here you go. Like that. This is good. Like that, that's pretty good. And I can start with a little lighter color. So I'm gonna get a little bit more water into my brush. Now I'm gonna start adding the wet paint from the top going down. And when I go a little bit lower over here, now I'm looking at right here and going up here you go now use the water to make it a little bit softer now i'm going to have this make it a little bit higher like that this is good and coming over here okay that's pretty good that's the wet is going to help the water uh wet help the color it's going to uh blending and moving around inside the wet space so now I'm going to use just a little bit more water, just down over here. So also a little bit water and a little bit blue, maybe, very light. So I'm going to have this going around at the bottom. Okay, that's good, like this. Okay, here we go. The bottom over here, just a little bit, just touch the edge. You see the water? It will bring the color around. It's very soft. You see that the edge over here looks very beautiful. So the water it can help you to make things look softer, right? 
So this is pretty good. While this is wet, you can also put the dark color in, okay? And right now I'm gonna let go. This is a little bit too much wet in here. So I'm gonna let go to make it a little bit more even, okay? Otherwise those wet with coming back to the middle, it create texture. So this is good. You see that the way into wet really make things look much, much better. So now I'm gonna have a little bit darker color. So I get a little bit blue with the red. Use less water, you can make it darker, right? So I'm gonna take a look at the bottom over here. I'm gonna make this a little bit darker. You see that this is wet into wet. You see this? Like this, okay? Now it's still wet. Okay, here you go, like that. And it would be feeling okay to maybe sometimes feeling a little bit out of control. That will be fine. You have to take the risk in this process. And then you go knowing that when is this okay? When is too early? When is too late, right? Now I'm gonna have it over here. I have a little bit more yellow and blue in this color. So a little bit more green because of the color of uh, the fruit have a little green color. So I'm gonna have this over here. I'm gonna have that coming over here. Now I'm going to uh, let go the paint in my brush. So I'm gonna just let go all the paint and the most the water. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just brush it through the edge, okay? brush it through the edge, it helped the color travel around. Okay, and now make it softer on the edge. That's okay. You don't have to make it exactly, right? Now the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna paint the things that right in the middle over here. You don't wanna paint them right on the edge outside because the outside is still wet. If you touch the outside, the color will be zoom and go into the background. If you don't want to do that, as you know when the timing, it's very important. So now I'm going to get the yellow color. Now I'm going to talk about the color mixing right on the paper. Now I'm going to take a look at that right over here. Now I'm going to look at a little bit higher. Okay, that's good. I'm going to have the yellow color. Let's just get the yellow color in here. See that? That's right in this area. A little bit yellow color. That's good. Now this color on both end, now first gonna use the yellow because that yellow have it in the middle over here. And we're gonna talk about how to mix the color right on the paper by having uh, the different color. Okay, now on this side, I have a little bit more red. I'm gonna take a little bit red. I'm gonna have it here. And now also I'm gonna mix a little bit orange color. So. Uh, we already know how to mix color. So the yellow with the red makes the orange, right? So now I'm gonna put it right here. Take a look at that. There's the orange color. I'm gonna have this color. Let it merge into the yellow. So I'm gonna have a little bit more yellow. And like this, make it like yellow a little bit thicker. And the orange a little bit thicker. That's just good, right over here. And the color getting drier and drier, very fast. So before you finish this, the background is gonna dry and you're ready to do more. So I'm gonna leave a little bit gap over here, right? And very easy. Now coming over here and be patient. Now I'm gonna use the middle of the brush which it have less color, right? Now I can like a drag it, blend it through. That's just good. Now you have a little bit more red, less red. That's is yellow. And on the other side, you know what I'm gonna do, right? It's just gonna have the green, which is the blue and the yellow. Now I'm gonna come to mix that with a little bit yellow with the green. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it right here. You see that this side, a little bit more. Uh, don't touch the outside, it's still it almost, almost dry, but I'm gonna be cautious and just leave the edge, that's okay, right here. Now, looking at the inside over here is much lighter, so I don't want to 
have that color coming in here because this is very clear, very clean uh, in the edge. Okay, this is good, like that. Here we go. Now I'm gonna have this blend in over here, a little bit darker, like that. So you can see the color is all different. Like uh, over here, now I'm going to soften that, just have a brush with no color. So, and over here could be a little bit darker. So I'm gonna talk about that. The color has dark and light, right? So I'm gonna have this one very much the same color. I'm gonna take a look at that. This the same color, but it has a little color coming in over here. Be patient. And I know some of you uh, has no patience. Um, and we want it to be like, I want it to be done. I want it to be done soon. Okay, be patient. Okay, if you're having fun, you won't want, want it to be end so quickly. Okay, and here we go. I have a little bit texture like that, a little bit of details. And now coming over here, I can see that I have more yellow. So I'm gonna see that right here. I have a little bit more yellow with red. Okay, I'm gonna put that color right over here. Need a little bit red. Okay, here we go. And a little bit more, close. Now it's way into wet into this small area here. See that? Like this, and coming in. And this is still wet. You see that all merged together. So some of the area I'm gonna do more after it dry. Like in over here, have a little bit separation, but don't do that when this is wet, because if you want it to be change, has a clear edge, you need to wait until you dry. So some of the things you need to wait a matter of 10 minutes and you already dry, right? So this is good. The top over here, it already looks pretty good already. And I'm going to continue painting maybe at the bottom over here, or maybe the top over here. Maybe paint something on the top. Okay, so I'm gonna keep using this color. It looks like the same color. I'm gonna have this coming through over here. It merged together, that will be fine. I have a little bit of gap. That this is good, like this. Now the outside getting dry already. Okay, this is pretty good. I'm gonna have it here. Okay, and have a little bit red. Okay, too much red. So just think about how much red it needed. Okay, this right here. And moving into this shape, I'm gonna leave a little bit gap over here, like this. And seeing that, that's good. Look at the shape, okay? The shape is so everything that you need to look for. And now it get, get a little bit more forward, have a little bit more yellow, less red, less red. So I'm gonna get just the yellow color. And seeing that, that's good. Okay. And coming in the top over here, have a little bit gap. Have a little bit gap, that's good. Ooh, that's good. Growing there. It's not hard doing watercolor. As the hard part is, can you be patient with yourself, okay? Give yourself the time, and if you know how to do watercolor, and you have fun doing watercolor, it's really make you relax. And would you like to be relaxing? Have the little time for yourself every week, and practice watercolor. And the top over here, it looks pretty good already. And now what I'm gonna do, I know that some area need to be a little bit more detail that we're gonna do later. Over here, a little bit darker, but do it later, okay? After you dry, it's pretty easy. Now the bottom over here, it look much, much darker than the color on, on up over there. So I'm gonna get a little bit more red, okay? I already have red, but there may be too much water. I'm gonna have a little bit thicker. So just get the red color, okay? Get the red color. You know how to make the color look darker. And I'm gonna have that little bit blue, like that, that's a little bit darker. And these two colors together look like purple. So what that means, you need to have a little bit more yellow color in order to make it a little bit more brown. This is good. A little bit more red. See, all these three colors, you can mix any color you need. Okay, now coming over here. Now, take a look. And now this color, a lot darker than the color on the top. And this is almost dry. And if it's not dry, it's almost dry. Just very close. So okay, I'm gonna leave a little bit gap. 
and this is a little bit too purple-ish. So what that means, we need to have a little bit more yellow color, okay? Or maybe a little bit more orange color. So what that is, I'm gonna have a little bit more yellow, okay? Have this color, have a little bit more red in here. This is the yellow, uh, orange color, right? Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put it in here. You see that? A little bit lighter, a little bit more orange color. Already, just put it in here, wet into wet. Now this is the color, a little bit more like a translucent feeling, right? That's what's good. And then when you get over here, you're gonna stop. Now, what I'm gonna do on the other side, I have a little bit more green, which is what? Yellow and the blue. But this color is too light. I want it to be darker. I'm gonna get a little bit blue, a little bit more yellow, and also you also may need a little bit red. I'm gonna take a little bit red over here, and this is will be the color we want. It's a darker color. Let's take a look at here. And look at that. That's much darker. Here we go. Now this is good, right here. Take a look at the edge, at the area, and need to be a little bit lower, like this. This is pretty good, like that. And, and in the middle over here, it's gonna merge together. And this two color, this is good. And the bottom over here, I'm gonna show you how to lift the color, make it a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna cover that with the same color, which is look like the flat color. Right, we're gonna come back to do the lifting. And now in the middle over here, I'm gonna take this color, right? I'm gonna mix the color right on the paper by having this color merge together. You can see that? There's two color now merge together like that. And all because of the water, okay? If you don't have water, it will be very hard edge. So now, when it's just wet, I'm gonna just remove most of the wet from my brush. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lift it up. See that? That's very easy. If you want to be lighter, remove the color. And it will look like the water, um, the paper color, which is white, right? Now you can lift that up. Okay, lift it up. That's simple. Now let's make it lighter. Now I'm gonna have actually see a little bit more yellow in here. So I'm gonna actually add a little yellow color in here. Make it look a little bit lighter. That's just fine. Now, while we are in this step, I'm gonna start, have a little bit dark color right on the edge here. So what's the dark color? Uh, I don't say black color. So it's just dark. So I have these two dark color with the uh, red and the blue it would look very dark. I see that? There's two color together. Uh, ready? I'm gonna have these two color together right on the border. I'm gonna have this, put dark color in. There's still a little wet. Not very wet, but wet enough, and the color would merge together, okay? That's good. I'm gonna have that. That's good. And I have the edge, like this. And this is good. I'm gonna have a little bit color coming in like that. Give a little texture like that. That's good. A little bit darker and have a little bit texture. A little bit texture like that. That looks like a natural texture. That's just good. Right over here. Very nice, right? Not yet. We're not finished yet. We put it good. Like on this side, I'm gonna have this side a little bit line. Now using the same dark color, right? It's good. Now going up over here, I'm gonna have a little bit lighter. You see the top over here, have a little bit more brownish color, so I'm gonna mix that. I don't have to clean the brush. You know that the color is very similar. It's just add other color to your brush. That will be fine. Now I'm gonna have this and coming over, coming all the way to the top over here and have a little bit orange color. So I'm gonna get a little bit yellow, just think a little bit orange but not purely orange, just get more red and the yellow, and that will be fine. Okay, here you go, like that, and this is good. Now, I'm gonna have a little bit more like a softer edge, so I'm gonna show you how to make the color softer. Just use a little bit light color of that. I'm gonna just soften the edge over here. You see that? That's also not the wet into wet. It's showing that it's a little bit softer, 
coming up. There are also the edge over here. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker too. You see, it's so much fun, and it's not that e not that difficult. Okay, the opposite. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna come back over here to do more definitions. Separate the two different or uh, two different star uh, edge. So I'm gonna continue doing the doing the bottom over here. Squint your eye. You see how dark is that color? Okay, be patient. That's I want it to be a little bit more clean orange color. So I'm gonna take this yellow, take the red, right? This is good enough. Okay, mix that a little bit. I don't need that much pink. So I'm gonna let go the water and don't need that much yellow. I'm gonna have a little bit more, a little bit more. That's good, perfect. Now I'm gonna fill in this area. Can you see that? There's a little bit gap over here. That's good because the light going through it, that looks pretty good. Ooh, now I can look at the cast shadow as actually the reflection. I'm gonna put that right here. And here you go, like this. And have a little bit more brownish color, a little bit darker. Seeing that, that's pretty good. And I'm gonna work on the uh, cast shadow a little bit. So let that drive, and then we're gonna come back to uh, make the finish to catch the shadow. Now is the good time to come in back to the top here. I'm gonna separate a little bit more. Now I'm gonna look at the color. It's a little bit more red, and if you look at the reference, you can see that. That needs to be darker, so take a look. This is called wet overdrive. So now I'm gonna put the wet color on the area that already dried already. So now I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put it like that. The tip over here facing to the edge. So look, I'm gonna put that right over here like this. And have a graduate turning a little bit lower like that. That's as good. Now, now you see that it's the separation. Now I'm gonna have a little bit more yellow, orange color. I'm gonna use this color. I'm gonna put it here, have a little bit more orange color. I know you need some patience. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna have the clean brush and softly blend it to have this, a very soft gradually fading outside. Now I'm gonna do the same thing over here. You see that? The water help it to blend it through. This is pretty good. And then on this side, now I'm gonna have a little bit more orange color. I'm gonna take the red with the yellow again, okay? Now, I don't need the color too thick. And how you can make it thinner? Add a little water, okay? A little bit water, that's what's good, a little bit thinner. Now I'm gonna take a look over here. Now I'm gonna have this side. You see that? Now I'm gonna have this. The, the condition is this area is already dry, otherwise it won't have a clean edge. Okay, we wait until it dries. Okay, now I'm gonna have this color. Now it separate these two different sides, right? So now I'm gonna just use the brush with the little water. Now I'm gonna come in over here, that's like this. That's separated, and two different sides, that's good. All right, that's pretty good already. And take a look at I think I'm going to add a little bit more green color. Can you see? An edge over here, have a little green color over here. Can you see it? There's a little green color on the edge over here. So I do the same thing. I'm going to pointing the tip of the brush facing to the edge. I'm going to have a little bit more green color from the palette over here. That's good, like that. And keep coming through. That's pretty good, a little bit over here, and a little bit over here, and put that over there too, and the edge over here, put a little bit green color, and then do the same thing. I'm gonna put it on the up, under here, also a little bit more of the green color, like that. I can have a little bit texture, like that. This is good, a little bit, almost there. I'm gonna have a little bit uh, separate, seeing that this is the, the the bottom side of this piece and the bottom side over here. This is pretty good. Now it's almost there. The last thing we need to do is to refine the cast shadow. Are you ready? 
Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to have this very dark color, which is just the blue and the red, right? I'm going to put it right here. And this is already dried, so it's very, very good. I'm going to have the dark color on the inside, okay? And I have a little bit dark color over here too. And also the edge of this, a little bit darker. And this is good. I'm going to have this a little bit darker since we have the dark color. That's good. Now I'm going to come back over here. And now we're going to use a little bit more green color. Now this is a little bit lighter color like that. Here you go. Now from dark to light, gradually soften like that. And I'm going to use, be patient, we're almost done. And we're going to put it right here on this side. And there's also a little bit more cast shadow. Also the reflection. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I don't want the edge to be so clean. So I'm going to use the brush, open up this brush, like I use a little bit more water, right? Now I'm going to have this, here we go. By having the water soften the edge. And that is very, very interesting. Look just like the natural cast shadow. 